Let's have a glimpse of rich heritage of India. India has a varied natural and cultural heritage. The main cause of it is that India is a vast nation with different geographical and physical conditions. The history of India is thousands of years old. This culture has remained a witness to the change due to exchange of activities. Many invaded India and became victorious and settled down here and got merged in the ocean of Indian culture. In this context, heritage is a precious gift from our ancestors, which is found around us. Heritage is natural and also man-made simultaneously. Its development has taken place along with the historic eras. On one hand, heritage is associated with a place, a province or a region. On the other hand, it is associated with a family and a community. It is a speciality of people and their identity. To make it easier, we divide our heritage as natural and cultural. First, we will know about natural heritage. Natural heritage includes features like mountains, forests, deserts, rivers, streams, seas, trees, plants, creepers, flowers, leaves, insects, etc. India is a land of colors and shapes of geographical and environmental extremities. High mountains, long and small rivers, wide fertile lands, river valley regions, dense forests, long seashores and deserts are examples of this depiction. In this varied landscape, wide range of minerals, vegetation, plants and animals are available. Irregularities in weather or climate can affect our heritage. The result of close relationship between nature, environment and human life is natural heritage. From earlier times, people of India have assigned divinity for animals, rivers and mountains. We worship them considering them to be holy. Similarly, we consider people, Banyan and Tulsi, as holy and reverential. Some birds and animals are accepted as the vehicles of gods and goddesses. It is only because of this that we treat them with respect and faith. Due to this, Indian culture has made a unique impression in the entire world. Some example of these can be found in Panchatantra and Jataka Kathas of Buddhism. Even we can see a close relation between nature and classical and folk music. Several classical ragas are based on Prahar. Similarly, Ayurveda, Unani, and nature cure are also totally based on nature. Therefore, we can say that natural and cultural heritage have a very deep relationship. Nature has endowed India generously. Landscapes Beautiful landscapes are generally formed due to shapes of land. For example, the Himalayas is a landscape, but it has endowed Indians 
abundantly, with brimming rivers, streams, forests of Terai, and its pilgrimage places, which can be considered landscapes. The landscapes have greatly influenced the profession of people, their lifestyle, customs and way of life. Since Aryans, the mountains have been considered to be adorable and holy amongst various elements of nature. Since ancient time, the Himalayas range has been a part of Indian heritage. Rivers The rivers of India have remained reverential from ancient time till today. Even our Indian culture has flourished on the river bank of Ganga, the Yamuna, the Ravi and other rivers. The rivers like the Ganga, the Yamuna, the Saraswati, the Sindhu, the Kaveri, the Narmada and the Godavari etc. have profoundly influenced people of India. Rivers are the source for drinking water, household use, irrigation etc. Landscapes, scenes at dawn and dusk are very fascinating on the side of the river. These are inspiration for artists and have enriched the lives of the people by developing the aesthetic sense. Vegetation In India, the trees like banyan, peepal, neem, etc., shrubs and tulsi, etc., are considered as holy, treated with great reverences. Since ancient time, the green fields, prosperous forests and medicinal plants have enriched Indian culture. Grains and cereals, plants of all seeds, Myrobalan, Tulsi, Ardusi, etc. prove to be very useful. Flowers like rose, Micheli, daisy, lotus, sunflower have made human life beautiful, useful and prosperous. It has deeply influenced our social, economic and religious life. Wildlife Indians love nature and animals since ancient times. Indians have realized the importance of wildlife. Elephants, rhinoceros, tiger, leopard, wolf, deer, bear, lion, stag, etc. They have contributed greatly in making Indian culture varied. It is a well-known fact that the value of the tusk of a dead elephant and the leather of a dead tiger and lion are immense, but we have realized their values. So the preservation of wildlife laws are framed and sanctuaries are established. Now we will see about cultural heritage. Cultural heritage that India has gifted to the world is also prosperous, rich and varied. Cultural heritage is man-made heritage. Whatever man obtains or creates with his intellect, skills is called cultural heritage. Indian people, since the prehistoric period, have contributed a lot to the people of the world. For example, sculpture is a 5,000 years old ancient art. The remains of Indus Valley civilization can be taken as the evidence of this. The remains of the figures of gods and goddesses, human figures, animals and several toys as well as sculpture of a man with beard, the statue of a dancer 
are example of rich cultural heritage. Further, when we look at the bullock or lion on an inverted lotus of Mauryan era, the statue of Gautam Buddha in a meditative mood, or the statues of Jain saints and the caves of Ajanta, Elora, etc., prepared by kings, we feel glad and proud and show respect and reverence for our cultural heritage. In our cultural heritage, palaces, buildings, sculptures, stupas or viharas, chaitya, temples, mosques, tombs, domes, forts, gates, etc. are the architectural monuments. Even the historical places of our freedom movement can also be considered as a part of our cultural heritage. Music